All right, Dolan, we already previewed every single team in the Power Five. Now we're going to do our conference preview, starting off with the Big Ten Conference. Going to do go over a few things. Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Coach of the Year, our sleeper team, who we think is going to be in the title game, who's winning the conference championship, and how many playoff teams it gets as well. So start off with our Offensive Player of the Year, Dolan. Who are you going with for Big Ten OPOI? I think it's a pretty obvious pick. You go out to Oregon, one of the new teams, and it's their quarterback, Dylan Gabriel. Look, he's going to be in contention for a Heisman Trophy. Comes over, replacing Bo Nix. He's got a perfect situation when you talk about having two primetime receivers on the outside, and Tez Johnson and Evan Stewart, a really good running back in Jordan James, and maybe most importantly, one of the best offensive lines in the country that's bringing back most of the pieces from a team that led the the, uh, the nation in pass protection grade last year. Dylan, Gray, Dylan Gabriel's primed to lead the Big Ten in passing, possibly lead the country in passing. I think he's an easy choice for offensive player in the year of the Big Ten. Uh, it's easy, yeah. I, I mean, I have him winning the Heisman, right? So I can't not have him winning the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year. So, yeah, he's the quarterback of the best offense in college football. I think he's a top three quarterback at least in college football as well. He's in a great spot to produce at least Bo Nix numbers next year, I think. And I think Oregon, like I said, had the best offense in the country. And I think Dylan Gabriel, as a leader of that, is the easy pick, like you said, for Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, Dawn, I think it was pretty easy as well. But who are you going with for this award? I think it's actually incredibly tough. There are so many good defensive players in the Big Ten, but I'm going to go to Ohio State. I'm going to take Caleb Downs. Look, after Ooh. week three last year, he was the best safety in the country at Alabama. I think he could put up big numbers and really step into what was arguably the weakest spot on Ohio State's defense last year. Now it's a massive strength with Downs in there. So I think he's going to put up big numbers. You could be talking about four, five, six interceptions for him. Boatload of tackles. His instincts are off the charts. I'm going to take Caleb Downs from Ohio State. All right, I'm going with uh, I'm going to go with Mason Graham for this award. I think he's going to win this award. I think he's the best tackle in college football, uh, and I think he's going to put up huge numbers next year as sacks, pressures, all that. I thought Will Johnson uh, was up there too. Uh, Caleb Downs, like Dylan Thieman from Purdue, but I think Mason Graham is pretty clearly the best defensive player uh, in the Big Ten right now. Although Will Johnson has a very good argument for it, but I think the numbers usually help out defensive linemen more than defensive backs for these kinds of awards. So I'm, so I'm going with Mason Graham here for this award. All right, Dalton, coach of the year right now. Who are you going with for the best coach in the Big Ten? I'm going with the coach that I think is the coach of the best team. And you know what? He's probably the most criticized coach maybe in the entire country, even though he's lost very, very few games during his time at Ohio State. And that's Ryan Day. Look, I know he's locked, he's dropped the last three games to Michigan. I know it's the big rivalry that he's got to get over, but – he puts out a fantastic team every year. They're as loaded as they've ever been this season. They do have to figure out the quarterback spot, but it wouldn't shock me at all if Ohio State went undefeated and it was up for a top two spot in the college football playoff. I'm going to take Ryan Day. This will be the redemption tour for him down there in Columbus. So usually I'm going with a coach. That I like the Ryan Day pick. I like uh, like Dan Lanning as well, but I'm trying to go away from that. I think so a lot of the times they give it to a coach who kind of exceeds expectations or you know leaves a program uh, better than what they've been in the past. So I'm going with Matt Rule here, the coach for Nebraska. I think Nebraska missed out on a bowl game. I believe they're eight straight year without making a bowl game. But they have a really good defense. They have a really promising young quarterback in Dylan Rayola, five-star recruit. He's going to start as a true freshman. I think if they can make a bowl game at least, and then right now I think their win total is like seven and a half, make a bowl game for the first time in eight years, nine years, whatever, uh, I think Matt Rule is going to get a lot of hype for that because of leading Nebraska back. And like we said before, like year two of Matt Rule, he's done a great job at Temple, at Baylor. He, it was really when year two's really started to turn around. I think it'll be the same thing at Nebraska this year. So I'm going with Matt Rule to win Coach of the Year. Don, who's the biggest sleeper team in the Big Ten this year? For me, it's actually that team that you just mentioned in the Cornhuskers, right? And Matt Rule, you mentioned it in year two, always has a big jump. He did it at Temple. He did it at Baylor. And you have to remember, Max, this was the team last year with the third worst passing grade in all of college football. They just could not get the quarterback situation right. And they almost made a bowl game in spite of that. Now you've got Rayola going in there. And if he's anything close to what they say he's going to be in his freshman year, they're going to have a really nice season and a favorable schedule where, to me, I'm pretty sure I look at their schedule and there's only one game against actually at Ohio State that I'm like, yeah, they're going to lose. But their other 11, they, they could be in any of them, especially with their defense. I think Nebraska is really going to put a charge into the Big Ten this season. Yeah, uh, so I'm actually going with Indiana for to kind of switch it up on this one. I think Indiana is going to surprise a lot of people too. Right now their win total is five and a half. I think they make a bowl game, man, if not win seven games next year. They were terrible last year. They had a three and nine record overall. 
Uh, but I think that they, with all the transfers they brought in, Kurt Zignetti, a new coach from coming in from James Madison, a lot of James Madison players are now at Indiana as well. I think they're going to really turn around quickly in Indiana. So I think Kurt Zignetti is also a great pick for coach of the year if you want to do that as well. But I think Indiana has a great chance of making a bowl game after going 3-9 and nine last year. So I think Indiana is going to surprise a lot of people, I think, in the, uh, in the Big Ten this upcoming season. All right, Dalton, who is making the Big Ten championship game and who is ultimately winning the Big Ten title game and securing a college football playoff spot? It's a tough conference, especially at the top, but I, I really like Ohio State as the best team, and I just love their defense. Jack Sawyer and Caleb Downs and Denzel Burke, and I think they're going to play Oregon. Now they have to go out to Eugene during the regular season, and it's entirely possible that they lose that game and then come back and get their revenge in Indianapolis in the Big Ten title game. But I love Ohio State's defense. I love the pair of running backs they have. I love Oregon's offense, but I think I would take Ohio State over them right now in a Big Ten title game. All right. I am actually going to do the same exact thing. I'm taking Ohio State over Oregon. Now, ironically, I think Oregon will beat Ohio State in the regular season when it's at Eugene because I think they're that close together. But I think on a neutral field, Ohio State gets the edge. It's kind of a little closer to Ohio State too. So um, I think Ohio State is the best team in college football. I'm picking them to win the national championship this year. Uh, I think Ohio State just defensively is unbelievable. Really, really good offense as well with that run game. That offensive line is pretty solid as well. The receiving core is really solid, really good. And uh, I like Will Howard, a quarterback too. And Chip Kelly calling up plays is, is great. So yeah, I think Ohio State is going to beat Oregon, get revenge on them in the Big Ten title game. Finally, Dawn. Don't reveal who will be in the college football playoff because that will be in our college football playoff video. But tell me how many playoff teams the Big Ten will have this upcoming season. Uh, I have three of them, and it was it's very I was very on the fence about getting a fourth one, but there's some really interesting out of conference games in the Big Ten that are going to decide a lot of this. Right now, I'm going with three. I'm also going with three. Uh, I, I agree with you. I think it's I almost had four. Very very close to having four. But I'm ultimately going to go with three as well. So you can see right there, this is our predictions for this upcoming season for the Big Ten. Ohio State over Oregon for both of us. Dylan Gabriel, winning offensive player of the year for both of us. Dolan had Caleb Downs for defensive player of the year. I had Mason Graham. I had Matt Rule for coach of the year. He had Ryan Day. My sleeper team is Indiana. His sleeper team is Nebraska. And we both have three teams making the college football playoff out of the Big Ten. That's what we got for our Big Ten season preview. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about our predictions. And be on the lookout for more prediction videos coming very soon, including our college football playoff predictions. We're predicting the entire 12-team field and the national champion. Hey, thanks for watching the PFF College Football Show. Before I let you go, though, we have an unbelievable deal for you guys right now. If you use the code CFB25, you get 25% off your PFF Plus annual subscription. We've got the 2024 College Football Preview Guide that you can find over at pff.com featuring the best players in the country from all 70 Power 5 teams plus 10 Group of 5 teams that have the best chance at making the College Football Playoff as well. You can also gain access to NCAA premium stats for historical games, uh, teams, and player tracking dating all the way back to 2014, so the last decade or so of college football. All the stats you can hope for, you can find in PFF Premium as well. Also, you can be the GM of your favorite NFL team with our unbelievable mock draft simulator where you can draft up to seven rounds of players for your NFL team. And if you want to dominate your fantasy league, you could do that as well using the best fantasy tools on the planet. All of that and more with your PFF Plus annual subscription, which you can find for 25% off right now with the code you can find in the description. Or if you want to go to subscribe.pff.com and use the code CFB25 at checkout. Again, you get 25% off your PFF Plus subscription. This won't last forever, so make sure you take advantage of it right now.